What's going on everybody and welcome back to Airport CEO. In the last episode we started our airport and we got some of the parking stuff done and started working on the terminal. Now in between episodes I actually went through and I did the uh, building of the queue areas because you know that's not very entertaining to watch but this episode I'm not really sure how much we're gonna do in the terminal itself because what I want to do is work on the like other stuff outside that we need to do in order to get planes coming because as soon as we can get planes coming in we'll start actually making money so we don't need to finish the terminal just yet this was just a good starting spot to get kind of the lay of the land and what we want to do so I was looking at this and what we need to do is obviously get a runway. Uh, we can go ahead and put the runway up here. I'm thinking because this is kind of at the end of the map here. So we'll have plenty of room to expand the terminal out to here. So what I'm thinking is we put the runway maybe kind of just in the middle of the map. And then uh, we can have the builders go up there. It's going to take them quite some time to get that going. But uh, once we get that going, we'll have to go ahead and put some taxiways in and we'll bring the planes down here so the first thing that I wanted to do is make sure or check and see how big the little medium stand is and I say a little but this is the biggest stand in the game so far this is gonna be what connects to the terminals so this is what people are gonna be able to come in here and you know check in and get onto a flight so this is gonna be up here I'm thinking somewhere just to leave some space down here to build still so I'm thinking we put one of these in up here. Now, I, you know what? I'll put one in right now, but uh, we're not planning on using that just yet because what I'm planning on doing is getting the small stand and we'll put these in all over the place over here. And basically what this does is acts as an area for small planes to come in and you get the general, what is it? The general aviation uh, flights that come in and basically all they're doing is flying wherever it's just like a pilot and they come in and they just need fuel or they need to just rest and, and park for the night or whatever. So we'll start getting those flights in on all of this and hopefully start making some money with that. So uh, what we need to do to get to that point is a lot of stuff. So hopefully we can start doing that now. Uh, the first thing we need to do, I believe, is get into the procurement tab which is in the economy tab but in order to do that we need a procurement director so let's go into the staff tab and go to the board and get the procurement director open that up for applications and then go in here to find a procurement director so this is going to allow us to do a bunch of stuff and uh, you'll see that as we move on but each of the candidates has their own unique skill set and to be honest, I'm not really sure if this helps or hurts with the, you know, board positions uh, because of, like, handling stress. I don't really know how much that he's going to do, uh, logic and all that stuff. I'm not sure what they're actually going to do with that. So let's go ahead and hire the least, uh, you know, qualified person or whatever. Uh, that's just going to allow us to jump in here to the procurement tab, which is in economy. So now we can go ahead and unlock all of this stuff that we need. So the first thing we're going to need is the Avgas and the jet fuel uh, services. So let's go ahead and unlock that. But we don't have the requirement for it. So what we need to get that is an actual aircraft stand in place. So we can't do that until our workers go ahead and head into here. So let's go ahead and speed up the game a little bit just to get people working on the runway and the stand here. Uh, now, what we're gonna need is a space for trucks to come back here. So to do that, we need to go ahead and get what is called the checkpoint. We'll put one of these in here, uh, probably back here. Like, no, you know what? We'll put it a little bit farther back like this just arbitrarily I don't really know um, if there's a reason or not well the reason is because we might expand this out here a little bit later so anyway we need to connect this up with some roads so let's go ahead and do that right now this will go in like this and then past here we need the service roads I believe so these are used to transport people I, I think within I think the point of the service road is that it can go on the tarmac area whereas the other roads cannot or I, I don't it's not very clear but I've just been using service roads beyond the checkpoint just to make sure buses don't try to come up through here and do whatever so that's that we have the stall actually out so now we can go into our procurement area 
and unlock the Avgas stuff. So let's go ahead and unlock that now. It's costing us $50,000 and it will take six hours to do. Now, like I was saying before, I'm not sure if a more qualified uh, procurement guy can make these go faster. That would be a really interesting thing. I don't know about that, but oh well. Uh, we can always try to figure that out later. Um, what we need to do now that we got this kind of working here, let's go ahead and go into structures and build a fence. Now, I don't... You don't actually need this to be a secured area for planes to start coming in, but eventually we'll actually, you know, enclose our entire airport in. And we have the runway actually set up already so that's nice uh, but yeah let's go ahead and continue this let's draw this fence out a little bit more and what we're gonna need is a vehicle depot first off so this will go about here just to keep it within the fence and then we'll have the road then come down here and yeah we are gonna have to connect this all up and then eventually down here we'll have some uh, fuel depots so once we get a, the procurement of the fuel done, we'll be able to go through and add fuel. So let's stop building this for now, and let's start building the taxiway area. So this is going to take quite a bit of money because of the, you know, the distance from here to there. But that's, that's fine. Now, to get taxiways, you'd think you just lay a tarmac down. That's not the case. You actually need a taxiway foundation. So what this does is allows you to build this out like this and then we'll be able to connect this up via the taxiway node editor so yeah there's a lot of stuff going on here again uh now i just kind of want to build this out a little bit more and then eventually we'll have a path that leads down to here so i'm thinking the taxiway will then come off of this like this i think you only need a three wide one because the the node editing as you can tell right here you can pull these down to here so it only needs to go in a path of one and eventually we'll be able to connect this all up here so yes this actually draws a little line that you'll be able to you know visually follow around so it'll all make a little bit more sense once we go ahead and build out the rest of the taxiway so let's go ahead and do that now um the rest of this is gonna be i'm, I'm planning on putting stalls all the way up here so maybe we'll have like four or five of these so we'll go ahead and pull more of this foundation over. Now what I want to do is actually run a taxiway parallel to the airport or the runway itself. And then over here, we'll go ahead and connect it back up over like this and like that. So what this is going to do is allow us to have planes, if they have to take off in one direction, instead of going here and then taxiing all the way down here, turning around and then taking off, they'll be able to go down here. And while they're driving on the taxiway, maybe another plane could come in and land or whatever. So that's going to be really nice for us. And then we'll allow the plane to drive down here. Now, eventually we are going to have this come up like this. Of course, this is very, very expensive and we could do this logically. Let's, let's go ahead and do that. So it's eight by 10. So these are 10 wide and uh, we'll go ahead and measure that out. So that's another stall. That is going to be another stall. And then this will be our final stall here. So, yes, we'll have four going down here and then four on this side. And then eventually, when we really grow this airport, we can just put another uh, whole terminal hub down here. So this is going to be pretty cool. Um, all right, let's go ahead and connect this up. I'm thinking maybe we even run another one of these through here like this. Uh, the taxiways, I haven't really experimented with all that much. Uh, it is something that there's a lot. It looks like it's way more in depth than I'm making it out to be. So, uh, yeah, we'll see, you know, as we kind of build this out. And it, we can start doing that right now with the node edit tool. But, uh, yeah, as you start to build this out, you can actually go into the nodes themselves and you know, adjust them. So there's a lot of weird stuff that I'm not sure how to use just yet, and I'm sure someone will eventually figure it all out, but, uh, you know, I can probably show you one of those right now. So if we go into this node here, and we click on it, and that was a right click, you can turn this into something. So it's a regular taxiway node right now. We can turn it into a hold point, and then you can flip it around. So I'm not really sure how to use this all that much just yet. Uh, it's 
it's something that we probably have to figure out. Like, right here is probably a good place to have a hold point. And then right here as well. Uh, and then maybe over here. I'm not sure how these work. Now, in theory, what I think they do is create a point where a plane could be, you know, taxiing over to here. Another plane could be landing this way. So this plane, since the runway is not clear, this plane will then be able to go through here. But this plane will stop and wait for this to go. Uh, I'm not sure how the logic on that works, but I guess we'll figure that out as we get to it. So, all right. The next thing we need to do is go ahead and put in a, I believe, the air traffic control tower, which is a small ATC tower. We'll put that right up there like that. That's fine. And then we'll connect it with a service road, even though I don't believe we need to. Now, we also should put a small weather station in, and let's plop that just in between the runway and the taxiway over here. That looks pretty good. Um, yeah, and that is pretty much it for this. Now, we'll be able to actually have a plane come in here when we hook everything up and schedule flights, but that's not the, the goal right now. The goal is to go ahead and get some of the smaller planes coming in over here. So, first things first is we need the fuel trucks. So, uh, have we finally gotten the procurement of the fuel? No, there's still two hours left on that. And then, you know what, I was thinking maybe we go ahead and unlock the Jet Fuel A1 service, but it's probably not all that needed yet, because I believe the Jet Fuel A1 fuel, that, that's redundant, but yeah, the Jet Fuel is something that the larger planes need, whereas the Avgas is what the smaller planes need. So, I guess we'll start to lay out the taxiway stuff for the small planes, and these guys will come down through here, and you know what? We'll just connect all of this up. Now, if you know anything about planes or you know anything about, like, actual airports, you'll know that there are massive amounts of navigation that goes into taxiing a, a, a plane from point A to point B. And the air traffic control towers and all, all of the comms have to tell them how to get to different places using call signs. And it's all very confusing unless you know what you're talking about. And I am not going to say that I know what I'm talking about because I, I don't. But, um, yeah, it's all, it's all very complicated. But, all right, uh, we luckily don't have to deal with that, so that's nice. Um, what I'm kind of thinking, and actually what I'm wondering right now, is if we should put another taxiway going down here for these planes. So we'll keep the traffic kind of separate from the big planes and the small planes. And I think that's probably a good idea. So it's probably going to cost us a lot more money to do this. But I think in the end, it's probably a decent idea to do just to keep the traffic separate. Because these planes, uh, these general aviation planes come and go as they please almost. Because we will turn it on to just always accept it. So uh, it, it's going to be, you know, working in conflict with our, our main flights that we're going to be making a lot of money off of. So hopefully we can kind of separate those out a little bit by doing this so that's the plan here now i guess we'll start these on the same plane if you pardon the plane puns wow it's it's too easy to make plane puns in this game so yeah uh just excuse me but uh yeah we'll kind of keep that on the same plane and just put a, a few of these in right now uh we'll keep the operation a little smaller uh eventually we'll fill up this whole area we'll actually put another set of these behind this and it's probably not a bad idea to do right now, even. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do a couple of these. And then we'll plan this to come out here like this. Now, how are we doing on money? We're actually really good on money right now. So let's go ahead and just kind of figure this out right now. Uh, because we're not all that worried about it. Plus, with getting all of this up and running, we'll actually have the, um, you know, income coming in from these. So that's good. Now, this is all fine and, and dandy, but we're eventually going to need to hook up the services to it. So, you'll see how that goes after we kind of hook this up here. So, that looks good. Uh, okay, so we should have gas by now, right? Do we have the Avgas yet? I don't think we do. So, what what's going on here? How much longer is this going to take? A full hour? I feel like we've been talking forever and there's still not much going on. So, let's go ahead and speed this up a little bit. Uh, we need to hook up the uh, service roads to this over here. So 
this will come down like this and then come around like this and then we'll have this going through here like this so there we go the service road is how the fuel trucks and the baggage and you know all the service trucks go to the plane so we need to hook this up to each one of these rows of stalls here so this is laid out pretty nicely so hopefully this works i'm, I'm guessing this is going to work pretty nice for us but I, I oh man i actually connected that to the wrong area this needs to be connected to this side and this side so there we go and then our gas and stuff will be down here and we'll actually build a building for the baggage claims or not claim but the baggage you know system that'll all go down in here so this will be pretty nice so yeah this is working out pretty nice for us let's go ahead and hook up these nodes real quick to these next little stalls here and that's all that she wrote on that so yeah this game uh like i said in the first episode there's a lot going on and the tutorials don't help all that much at times so it's it's a little unfortunate it'll they'll they'll work on the tutorials more as they you know build the game out and get feedback from us the players so hopefully this is helping you guys out a little bit so uh yeah we're just kind of waiting to build this out so you know what i'm gonna skip forward to when this actually gets built out all right i was gonna skip ahead to when this was all built out but i just realized that we have our fuel depot and our fuel tanks in so we can start getting that kind of set up here so that's good uh the plan that i have for the fuel is to put this down here so this is gonna do a couple things this is a nice centralized location for these general aviation stalls as well as this uh, terminal system over here. Uh, and the game gets pretty framey when you zoom out a lot for some reason. Uh, again, early access, you gotta, you know, mind it. But uh, anyway, the, the fuel being here is also gonna be nice because the fuel delivery trucks come in from over here once we get a contract, and then it'll fuel the gas depot, which will then in turn fuel our delivery trucks to the planes. So. Having this really close to the gate over here is a really good idea. So these are tanks that you can add to the depot to actually give you more capacity. So as you grow, you can actually scale this a little bit, which is really awesome. But uh, we'll kind of keep that in mind and build this four away from like that. So four away from there. So this will be our basic fuel depot. So now what we need to do is connect this up with the service road up to the actual main area uh you know the service road the network that's the word i'm looking for anyway uh let's go ahead and go into the fencing and build out the fence just a little bit more just to keep it working as we go i mean like i said it doesn't need to be a secured area but it is something that we need to do um i'm wondering at this point if we should maybe get more workers and it's looking like it's probably a good idea. So what we're going to have to do is go into our operations and into the construction. And since we, I think, are maxed on our deal, we're probably going to need to get a new contract. So let's go ahead and our offered contract here, we'll cancel this contract. Yes, we do. And the bigger one will allow us to have 84 people at an hourly rate of $6, which I think was really close to what the other one was. So that's good. Uh, we have to go back to our construction tab. And we still have 50 people deployed here, I believe. So uh, let's go deploy all. And we're calling up the construction agency to send over, what, 34 more people to come work here. So that'll be really nice for us. And what I'm wondering right now is if we should move this up to here. You know what? I feel like we should because that's going to allow us to have a lot more things a lot closer. Or a lot more... Like, our drop-offs for construction will be a lot closer. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm wondering if... Did I just do that wrong? I did do that wrong. Let's delete that. Uh, now I have to de demolish it. See, it says drop-off. Uh, or it says offload site. And that's just getting the contractors here. But what I wanted to do is put a loading site in here. Because that's where all of the things actually unload. So that's a little confusing to me for some reason. Uh, just offload like they would offload sites it should be like pickup site or something so hopefully that gets changed to be more clear in the future but uh looking at this i'm wondering if we should take the service road and connect it through here like this 
uh, just to give the service vehicles more options, you know. I think we are pretty good with what we need to do throughout here. So what I'm thinking is maybe I leave this episode here and then come back in the next episode when this is all done and we can actually start getting some planes involved in the series here. So, guys, this may or may not have been a shorter episode. I'm not even sure. Uh, but uh, let me know if you liked it with a thumbs up. Thumbs down if you disliked it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that sub button. And let me know what you think in the comments below. Ask me questions. Do whatever you need to do. And I will be back here for the next episode of Airport CEO.